What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply decimals, all right? And this is very similar to just regular multiplication. So let's start with this first example up here on the left. Here I have 2.5 times 4.7. So when you're multiplying decimals, you don't actually even need the decimal to multiply them together, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ignore the decimals for now, okay? And then I'm just gonna multiply these numbers like normal. So I'm gonna have two five, and then I'm gonna multiply four seven, right? So 25 times 47. And we're literally just gonna multiply these like normal. So what's seven times five? That's 35, right? So I'll put a five here, carry the three. Then I have seven times two, which is 14. And then 14 plus three is 17. Okay, so now I'm done with my seven right there. So I'll put a zero right there, and I'll also drop that. Now I'll move on to the four. So now I have four times five, which is 20. So I'll put the zero here and the carry the two. And then I have four times two, which is eight, and then eight plus two is 10. 10, okay? Now I'll add up my numbers like normal. So here I have five plus zero, which is five. Seven plus zero is seven. One plus zero, is one, and then we don't have anything here, we just have the one, so we'll bring down the one. Now, we're almost done. The last thing we have to do is put our decimal number in there. How do we do that? Okay, so go back to your original problem, 2.5 times 4.7, right? Let me put the decimals back here also. Okay, now, how many decimal numbers do we have? Well, we have one, two. We have two decimal numbers, okay? So what we're gonna do is come down to our answer right here, so 1175. We're gonna come down to the end of the number. How many decimal numbers did we have? One, two. So that means we're gonna move two spaces to the left, okay? One, two, boom. So that's where you put your decimal. And your answer would be 11.75. So what ends up happening is, since we have two decimal numbers up here, we also end up having two decimal numbers in our answer. So that always has to match up, right? So that's an easy way to check your answer too. Now, let's go on to the next example. So here we have 7.42 times three, okay? So again, initially, I'm just gonna ignore my decimal and I'm just gonna multiply these numbers like normal. So I'm gonna have 742 times three, right? Times three. Okay, so let's multiply these. So three times two is six. Three times four is 12. So I'll put the two here and I'll carry the one. And then three times seven is 21. And then 21 plus one is 22. Now, again, the last thing you have to do is go back to the original problem. I'll put my decimal back right here. Now, all you have to ask yourself is how many decimal numbers do we have here? Well, let's see, we have one, two, and that's it, we only have two, right? Three doesn't even have any decimals on it. So since we have two decimal numbers here, again, that means we're gonna to come to the end of our answer over here, and we're gonna move two spaces to the left. One, two, and that's where your decimal goes. So your answer here would be 22.26. So when we go back to our problem, remember we had two decimal numbers in total, so that means we should have two decimal numbers in our answer in total, which is exactly what we have. So we know it's right. All right, let's do one more example. So we have 8.69 times 2.300. Now, one thing I wanna point out right off the bat is, okay, so let's look at how many decimal places we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five decimal places. Okay, so we would multiply these two numbers, right? And then normally we would come down here at the end of our number, whatever our answer was, and then we would move five places, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then I kept telling you that's where you would put your decimal place, right? Now, in this example, that would be incorrect. Why would that be incorrect? Well, it's specifically because of these zeros right here. Now these are called trailing zeros. And if you need a quick refresher on trailing zeros, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But basically, 
trailing zeros are just when you have a bunch of zeros at the end of a decimal number. Okay, so you could have one zero, that would be considered a trailing zero. You could have two, you could have three, you could have a million, okay? Now, what is so special about trailing zeros? Well, like I said, you can add as many zeros as you want, but the key is it won't change the value of your decimal number, okay? So whenever you see trailing zeros, just ignore them, okay? Just cross them out if you have to, because then this makes your problem clearer, right? And it makes it easier to solve, because now you can also see we only have three decimal places, right? So one, two, three. Okay, so now when we come to the end of the number, we're only gonna move one, two, three times, right? And then that will give you the right answer. Okay, so let's multiply this out. And again, I'm not going to include the zeros. So again, initially, just ignore the decimals and just multiply these like normal, okay? So 869, and we're gonna multiply that by 23. So starting in this column, we have three times nine, which is 27. So I'll put the seven there and carry the two. Then we have three times six, which is 18. And then 18 plus two is 20. So I'll put my zero there and carry the two. And then we have three times eight, which is 24. And then 24 plus two is 26. Okay, so now that I'm done with the three right there, I'll put a zero in this place. And I'll also get rid of these since I don't need them anymore. Okay, now we can multiply the two, right? So two times nine is 18. So I'll put the eight there and then carry the one. And then we have two times six, which is 12. Then 12 plus one is 13. So I'll put the three there, carry the one. And then we have two times eight, which is 16. And then 16 plus one is 17. Okay, so now that we're done with our multiplication there, now we can add these together, right? So here we have 7 plus 0, which is 7. And then we have 0 plus 8, which is 8. 6 plus 3 is 9. 2 plus 7 is also 9. And then we just have a 1 right here. Okay, so we're almost done. The last thing, again, is just going back to your original problem and seeing how many decimal numbers you have. We have three total decimal numbers. So that means we're gonna to come to the end of our number and we're gonna move three times to the left. One, two, three. And that's where your decimal goes, okay? So your answer right here would be 19.987. And just to reiterate this, since we have three total decimal numbers up here, that means we should have three total decimal numbers in our answer, which we do. So we know we did it correctly. All right, guys, so that's how you multiply decimals. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check those out, and I'll see you there.